Hello everyone and welcome to Dante Armas Tech and lately there's been quite a lot of AMD news. However, what about Intel? Well, do you remember this back from June 2018 at Computex? Intel's 28 core 5 GHz beast. Well, beast it is and would be if you had an aircon unit plumbed into it. Intel initially planned to bring this to market in quarter 4 of 2018. However, it's quarter 1 of 2019 so a bit late but here she is. This CPU comes with a hefty price tag of $2,979 and is seen at places like Newegg, a server processor for the consumer market. Well, let's have a look. Its socket is an LGA3647, 28 cores, 56 threads, TDP of 255 watts, and a base clock of 3.1 GHz with a boost clock of 4.3 GHz. It also supports DDR4. 2666 MHz RAM, 6 channel memory and 48 PCIe lanes and unclocked multiplier. So the CPU can also support with 6 channel memory controllers of up to 512GB RAM both ECC and non-ECC. So then let's look at this chart and compare AMD's top line CPU the Threadripper 2990WX to Intel's Xeon W3175X then there's not much in it. However, I'm going to say AMD and Intel instead of having to say the processors separately. So AMD's processor comes with 32 cores and 64 threads, where Intel's is a 28 core 56 thread. AMD's CPU has 3 GHz base with 4.2 GHz boost, and Intel is 3.1 GHz base and 4.3 GHz boost. AMD's CPU comes with 64 MB of L3 cache, where Intel's comes with 38.5 MB of L3 cache. And the PCI lanes is AMD has 64 and Intel has 48. AMD has quad channel memory where Intel has 6 channel memory. And both TDPs aren't far off so the 2990WX is 250 watts and Intel Xeon W3175X is 255 watts. So the prices of these CPUs are where they really start to differ. $1,799 for AMD's 2990WX at a price of $56 per core and Intel's Xeon W3175X at $2,979 at a price of $106 per core minus a few cents. And I want to revert back to the beginning where I said about having to have an aircon unit plumbed up for this CPU. You really don't have to. EK Waterblocks Phoenix 360mm Annihilator an Acer Tech 690LX PN 360mm radiator are for around about US$399, so these guys do have you covered, but are only available to you if you're in the US. So then, you're going to need to pair the CPU with some sort of motherboard. Well, Acer's have you covered here with their ROG Dominus Extreme at a price of $1,800, and the features of this board are outrageously stupid in a very good way for overclocking. So let's have a look at just a couple of these features. 32 power phases, dual 24 pin motherboard connectors, quad 8 pin and dual 6 pin 12 volt power connectors for leading power efficiency. So enough for overclocking, however you will need two high end PSUs to power this thing. Along with this you get two, three and four way SLI or crossfire support. And if you want to see more, jump on over to my website, which is in the link in the description below, to see the full list. So then, moving on to RAM, and G-Skills launches its Hexa Channel Trident Z Royal DDR4 RGB kits. So the ultra-fast, ultra-high capacity memory ranges from 3200MHz to 4000MHz, and from 48GB to 192GB. So there are two kits. You can either have 6 or 12 modules. They are XMP 2.0 supported memory speeds. DDR4 3200 MHz comes with a CL timing of 14, 14, 14, 34 at 1.35 volts. And the 4000 MHz comes with a CL timing of 17, 18, 18, 38 at 1.35 megavolts. These can also reach speeds of up to 122 gigabytes a second. So a massive leap over the quad channel platforms and performance. And so far they are only validated with the Asus ROG Dominus Extreme. However, the Royal kits aren't going to be cheap and they're not yet released at present. However, the way the RAM is going at the moment in this marketplace, we can expect some very premium prices for these RAM sticks. That's it all for today guys, thank you for coming along. If you did like the video then please do give me a thumbs up, please do hit that subscribe button, please do click that bell icon for more notifications from myself and I shall see you all in the next video.